it's always something with this thing now it says the battery has a large deviation and that's a deviation between the battery in the quadcopter and a bit and the battery on the controller i don't see any deviation i just charged them both to 100 percent <sighs> Every day with this thing, it's something. Battery has large deviation, but it doesn't. Both of these, I just charged to 100%. And you know, of course, what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for uh, the disconnects. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm waiting for. pretty windy out here actually so we're gonna see it's in the sport mode okay so let me start some video up I never can come out here without getting some kind of crazy warning see how high you can see that light oh that lights pretty visible up there yeah that looks pretty cool Yeah, you can see that light up there pretty far. I mean, 130 feet. Yeah, I can see that no problem. And it's still, you know, I mean, it's overcast. You should be able to see it. So, yeah, that's pretty nice that it has that on there. But, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get the disconnect. So, at least it'll do a return to home if it, uh, if it disconnects. Which it always did all the other times. Okay, so what did I do? This time, it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. I'm gonna have to bring it down. But what did I do this time that I didn't do the other time? Boy, that light's pretty visible. I'm liking that. That's great. Um, yeah. Okay, so all the other times, it, I don't know why it does that, but uh, this time I didn't, uh, I never turned the obstacle avoidance back on. I left it off, so it's off. And uh, let's see, I left the heat shield on, the heat sinks on there. The other time I had it off, the last flight, I, I had the heat shield removed, the heat sink was removed. I'm using the same cable. Uh, no, actually I had the one from the, uh, the, the two, the uh, SE. This one I put the old Xeno cable back on. 
which I tried to do the other day, but that didn't work, so. Now it's kind of jittering around a little bit, but I think that's because that light's on. I think it's causing a little something or another going on with the, uh, the optical flow sensor or something like that. I, I, it may be, I'm not sure. Let me see what happens if I could turn that light off. Um, let me turn the light off. Oh yeah, that wind's kicking up. <laughs> okay, big time. Okay, so the only difference between this flight and the last flight is I got the heat shield on. Heat sink. Let me turn that light back. Oh wait, it has a flashing feature too. Let me see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Let me just leave it on. I'm gonna have to cut out here in a minute. It's raining a little bit, so yeah. I like it with the light there. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to bring it out at night. I didn't, you know, when it had that, it says on there takeoff light, I didn't, I thought it just, was on for when it took off and then when it got up to the the takeoff height the light went out that's what i thought i didn't know you know you could use it all the time because i never got a chance to fly it that good because it always kept disconnected so i never got the you know i've never got to have it in the air long enough to mess around with it because it's always shutting off and returning to home <laughs> okay so yeah so I think I'll just start flying it and leave the uh, heat shield on and uh, we'll see what happens, you know. This thing is just like a work in progress, man. It's just like you just never know if it's going to work or... Okay, I'm just going to land it up and go eat some dinner. But hey, at least it flew today, right? Okay, I'm happy it flew today. So I have my regiment of starting this, you know. I'm gonna leave the light on. I'm gonna always start the, um, the, the drone, the controller first, then start the phone and all this mumbo jumbo, and then turn on the quad last. You know, this seems to be the only drone that I have to always do it this certain way, this, or it, it acts all up. Or it actually might not have anything to do with that. I mean, who knows? I mean, nobody knows why this disconnect issue keeps happening. You know, as far as I know, nobody actually really knows why this is doing this. Every, you know, people were speculating cables and all that, but I've tried all cables. It's worked, it's disconnected with every cable I ever tried. So it's not the cable, okay? As a matter of fact, I threw the one that came with this. I threw that thing away, thinking it was the cable. So now I'm using the Zeno cable, so when I go to fly to Zeno, I gotta take this cable and fly the regular Zeno. But yeah, nobody actually really knows why this is happening. Even even uh, Chris, the QC guy, even he doesn't know why this is happening. So if he don't know why it's happening, then nobody's gonna know, right? All right, guys, I'll talk to you later, man. Have a nice day. That's all, folks.